Hello everyone, my name is Mitisha Gupta and I am your host for today's podcast, Win Over Hypertension. Where you can learn how to take care of your blood pressure through exclusive insights and practical advice. Today we're talking all things about hypertension. Why is it caused? How it matters? And most importantly, how to take care of it effective. This is Dr. Shumatu Majundar. I'm a consultant, critical care, and also an intensivist. Uh, today, we are going to talk about hypertension, how it acts as a silent killer, and what we can do to, uh, to, to, to alleviate uh, symptoms as well as treat the underlying causes. So doctor, by now we all know what hypertension is. But can you please elaborate on it? I mean, why is it so important for us to take care of ourselves even when we feel fine? Hypertension is essentially the pressure exerted by flowing blood, blood flowing through the vessels um, directly. At, uh, you can say 90 degree to the walls of the vessels. So pressure exerted by flowing blood into, uh, into the, um, on the walls of the vessels is called hypertension. Hypertension is such a disease which is usually uh, extremely overlooked and uh, we, we neglect it to that extent that when we have a serious, uh, serious symptoms and uh, some serious events, hypertension, uh, then we care, uh, th then we realize probably we should have uh, taken care of it long time back. Okay, but why is it so often called the silent killer? What makes it so dangerous over time? Why is it a silent killer? Think of it, uh, uh, it, it as, 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 as rusting in pipes. If you change the pipes when there is minimal rust, you won't have any leakage further down the line. But if you let it rust, eventually the pipes will have a big hole and no matter how much you try to change the pipes, it, it, it already had caused a big havoc. So doctor, I would like to know what are the most common reasons people develop high blood pressure? Is it genetics, lifestyle or something else? The common causes of hypertension are sleep deprivation, extremes of anxiety, stress, um, smoking, sedentary lifestyle, bad habit, no meditation. Um, sometimes it's genetic. All these factors, they add up to an increase in pressure. So I would also like to know if someone has just been diagnosed with high blood pressure, what are the changes you would want them to make in their daily routine? You're, you're, you're sweating more, you have headache, you have flushing, you might have a, a vomiting tendency. Sometimes outwardly you might have a bleeding nose epistaxis, which is most uh, the most common cause of bleeding nose is hypertension per se. So these are the symptoms. As soon as you have these, go get your uh, blood pressure checked uh, uh, with the nearest uh, pharmacy or go get it checked with the nearest physician. Can we say that hypertension can be treated without medication? Yes, to some extent it can be treated without medication, but mostly um, there, there's a parameter, there's a classification. Um, depending on wh what kind of systolic and diastolic pressure you have, your doctor will, will try and prescribe you medications to get it into range. Okay, doctor, you just talked about medication right now. So I would like to know what are the most common side effects that people should look out for while taking medications for hypertension. They might feel drowsy. Um, they might uh, uh, they might have to go to the urinal, the bathroom, uh, multiple number of times. Um, sometimes they might have dry cough. Um, sometimes they might have a reeling sensation because the pressure might drop uh, way below normal. So your doctor will prescribe these things. Your doctor will prescribe, uh, he will, will tell you uh, what to look for. I would also like to know what would happen if high blood pressure gets untreated for years and what parts of the body gets affected the most? It, uh, it can cause heart attack, heart failure. It can cause renal damage. It can cause stroke. It can cause aneurysms, it can cause vision problems and many other things. So this marks the end of our podcast, Win Over Hypertension. I would like to say a huge thank you to the doctor for sharing such valuable insights to us. Remember, hypertension isn't just a number, it's a signal. And with right knowledge and action, 
it's absolutely preventable if you found this episode helpful do not forget to like share and subscribe and share your valuable insights with us always remember stay informed stay proactive and most importantly stay healthy this is mithisha gupta signing off from this podcast win over hypertension